friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Celia. I'm from Bergen in Norway. However, I do live in Orlando right now, working for Disney and also doing my bachelor degree in psychology. This vlog is about brow lamination. I'm going to show you guys how to do brow lamination at home. It's my first time and I hope it's going to go well because if not, it's going to be interesting. However, I bought this one, Brow Elimination, from Mia. So, yeah. First up for sure is washing my brow. Since I'm anyways going to cleanse my brows, I just took my whole face. Uh, when it comes to the kit, it does include a cleanser. So you cleanse your bra and then dry it up. Then after you add the adhesive, you uh, do the lifting gel really carefully and a lot. You also try to brush your brow the way you want them to be because that is like, especially when you put the lifting on, that's how they're going to look. So if you brush them down, they'll be down. If you brush them up, they'll be up. And then after you take it on, you're going to take some plastic or what it's called, plastic wrap on the browns. And I think it's, yeah, around 12 minutes that you're going to have it on. And then you take it off. And then you use like a type of brush to like brush it up as you guys can see I do. Uh, it also takes away a little bit of the lifting balm. Uh, but it's really important to also get it all gone. So I normally use first a wet cotton can cotton thing and then a dry one to dry it up. Because it's really important that they dry for the next step. I feel like they're already looking good, to be honest. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then you're going to put on the setting. Um, the setting balm is the third step in the whole process. And it's actually kind of like the last step too. So the lamination actually doesn't take too long. Like you can do it in like 20 minutes. Oh, no, 30 minutes because it's going to be a while on the brown like yeah and after you put it on you're also going to take the plastic again and it's going to be I saw I put it for nine minutes but I've been reading the package after and it's actually supposed to be like 10 12 I think the longer you have it on the more it will set and lift the brow and it probably lasts longer too because you had it longer on but I think I only did nine minutes in the beginning because I wasn't sure if my skin would be sensitive to it but it did not so I'm really happy about that because this is going to be one of my beauty steps uh, to keep my brows nice I'm also really lucky that I do have dark brows like thick brows because I know like a lot of friends of me need to like color them every day but I am one lucky girl then in the end you can put on some nutritions that is supposed to be good for the brow and then it's kind of like a serum if we can say it that way a little serum for the brows and then after I actually figure out I wanted to color my brows too because I've seen a lot of movies where they fix the brows that they do color them too however this mix is from Norway I really haven't found like a good mix here in the state that I liked and actually I don't think I really seen any of them to be honest I feel it's more for like lashes that I see in colorings but yeah, this is one of my favorite products when it comes to darken my brows. However, you saw the color that I had on before this, and that's my natural color. I haven't colored my brows in forever. So again, really lucky girl 
but sometimes I like to have them a little darker so that's why I figured out I wanted to color them this time but I did not have it on for too long though because you do not want it to put like a, suddenly have like super dark brows that does not fit it but you can see they're already a little brown or darker smileys Time to take it off and see the result. And yeah, you can see like it did not got too dark. I feel I did a good job, but I've been using that for many years, so I kind of know how long to put it on for not being too dark. I had one time I put it on for too long and it did not look nice at all. Then it's time to cut my brows a little bit. It's kind of risky the way I'm doing it, and I actually cut it them a little too much on that side. So for a couple of days, it did not look the best, but I tried. I tried. As yeah, you can see it's longer on the other side, but it's a beginning. It's a beginning. And I normally cut the brows like sometimes, but not a lot. So I'm good with them just like growing out. But of course, sometimes it looks terrible though. Then taking the, not sure what it is in English, but picking my brows. Would that be correct way to say it maybe? Probably. I don't know. I really don't care to those. But yeah, I feel that's like the last step. I am all done and I do believe I did a great job for being a first timer. It's not perfect, but nobody's perfect and it was so much more cheaper than if I went to like a professional person. I heard people pay like $100 and up and this cost me what, a little bit of time and $30? And then the $30 that I got for the kit, I can probably do it at least 20 times you know so and I will also believe the more I do it the more perfect that will be but I I think I did a really good job look at them the only thing is that I caught a little bit too much here um, but except that I am really proud of myself and then I should have had a little longer in here because they're supposed to be as you guys can see it should have been a little bit more here, but all in all, I did a great job and I'm so proud of myself. But yeah, this is how you eliminate your brown, brown, brows, brown, brown, whatever. Um, and I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again.